I saw this video of beautiful handwriting on YouTube and I tried to copy it, but it kind of turned out like this. And it reminded me of when I was eight years old and my teacher actually beat me because my cursive was so bad. So now I'm gonna learn how to write in the most beautiful handwriting ever. So I decided to go to the library and do what people used to do before fun things were invented read. And then I discovered something stunning. In 2010, the US government removed cursive classes from official curriculums, basically making sure that we have an even more broken education system now with bad handwriting. So I knew I wouldn't have any help from the American education system. But then again, no one does. But that's not going to stop me. So then I discovered something that was going to blow my mind. One of the most important things when it comes to writing is speed. Because if it takes you 50 years to write something, you don't really know how to write. I just forgot the alphabet, guys. Never in my life did I think that as a man with a master's degree, I would not be able to write letters. Now, how do you figure out if your handwriting is actually good? It's to do a time challenge and see if I'm better than a YouTuber. But no matter what I did, I just kept failing over and over and over again. I would either just get the line wrong, I would either get a curve wrong, I would swipe too fast, I would write too slow. It was just painful. Oh. Ah. Oh. God, it really hurts, guys. I'm gonna be taking a break. So back to the library for more research. First, I have to figure out why my handwriting sucks and how I can get it to not suck so bad. I actually can't read what I wrote. <laughs> Somebody actually wrote a 300 plus page book about an insane level of detail for cursive. There's literally a section that talks about the vitality and the energy of the writer. Did the writer have a good breakfast? How is the writer feeling today? Is the writer single? Is the writer divorced? You can tell all that and more from his handwriting. Now I can add holding pencils wrong to the list of things I've been doing wrong my whole life. So I just found out that my handwriting sucks because I'm single and I've been holding pens wrong my whole life. You have to know exactly what degree you have to hold the pencil at, how much pressure you have to put on the pencil. Once I realized how to hold a pencil, I started to improve. And all these failures reminded me of the greatest lesson I ever learned while learning how to play the piano, which is if you mess up, just keep going. Honestly, no one's probably gonna notice. So I've created something spectacular, my own handwriting. I call it cursiglyphics. Hyla cursive. Hi no, cursiglyphics. Look at that. All right, guys, next up, we have a very exciting time challenge. I'm going to be trying to beat someone else at writing three different phrases. There's no room for mistakes or errors. And just when I thought I was about to get it, I messed something up again. All right, guys, so that uh, that clearly didn't work out. I can't just jump into these time challenges, even though that honestly looked pretty easy, um, but I still failed. So they say you don't really know anything until you're able to teach it to others. So I'm gonna go see if I can teach a class on a chalkboard. This single lecture hall is probably what's keeping the chalkboard business alive. No professor needs a board this big. What are you teaching that you need this much board? <laughs> The most important thing about cursive class is to subscribe to Danny Duke. So I decided to go to the experts, the people who know more than anyone else, random people on the street. Mentoring like a cursive competition, like handwriting. Less like cursive and more like someone just tried to like, if it's just letters that like are a little stuck. Like on a one to 10, like one just being like disabled chicken and 10 being like Maybe a good. Five. A five? I'm entering like a handwriting competition. What would you rate that? Five. If it was a Tinder profile, would you swipe right on it? Maybe. It's pretty, but kind of hard to read. I'm gonna give it maybe a six? Seven. Seven, Seven. for real? Oh, my man. That good? Seven. That's, that's better than what it was before. <laughs> All right, guys, so that chalkboard scene was super intense. There was chalk and places where chalk usually doesn't go. But now I've worked my way to the final stage of cursive, the quill pen. <laughs> Guys, we're about to test the limits of how exciting pens can be. <laughs> we're about to film this in slow-mo. <laughs> Look. 
Look at this amazing pen, the curves, the angles. It's almost like somebody could write a whole book on how to hold it. So these little guys are called nibs and they're used to control the thickness of your strokes. So when you see someone doing calligraphy, sometimes you see thin lines, thicker lines, and they're basically made by using different nibs. So first I'm gonna start with the thinnest nib and I'm gonna see how thin I can get these lines. Now one of the most important things in writing, as in life, is speed. So I'm not just gonna learn how to write, I'm gonna have to learn how to write fast. Ah, uh, can I cut me? <laughs> and after hours and days of learning how to write like a good handwriting human person, I finally did it. I wrote something and I wrote it really nice. It already got on my finger, right? Oh, oh, why did I do that? All right, guys, I am super excited, but also a lot more nervous because I'm about to take on my final challenge, beating the time challenge that I lost to last time. Yes! Yes! I did it, 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 I did it. It's cursive, it's cursive. If you think this is below a five, make sure to like the video. And if you think it's above a five, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now I'm gonna be going on to calligraphy, which is the final stage. This is gonna be the hardest thing that I'm gonna be doing in this whole video. It's gonna be one of the hardest things I'm gonna do my whole life. All right, guys, so now we're at the hardest and final stage, calligraphy. And for this challenge, I'm gonna be going through five progressively harder stages of calligraphy. It definitely didn't feel basic. Or maybe I'm just basic, but that level was not basic. And after 10 years, I finally learned how to write the letter H. God, I think I burned like 50 calories. Oh my God, I was holding my breath the entire time. <laughs> now it's time to move on to words. Guys, we're done with stage one and stage two is gonna get really loopy. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to level two, which is loopy calligraphy. which is another weird way of saying modern calligraphy. And guess what guys? Our favorite piece of equipment has made a comeback. <laughs> the nib just fell in the ink jar. I can't get it out. Okay, well now it has enough ink on it. It won't stay in. So the little prong things that hold the nib in the pen have broken off. So now I'm gonna have to go back to using the markers, which honestly, I don't mind. I was literally like laser focused, holding my breath the entire time which is super weird for my ADHD. I feel like I can finally breathe now that this is done, except it's not done. Because next up we have level three, which is Old English, which is the style you see if you ever look at like an old English manuscript. Oh my God, no, it's the same awfulness. These pens don't work. I'm dipping them in ink. They, they don't write. The instructions for the new pen were even more confusing than my old OCHEM textbooks. Ow. Ah, it's really painful. So I just spilled one of my colors, but it's okay guys, because I have like nine more colors. Now we're gonna be doing red. Now these attempts are gonna show you why you don't get the cheapest pen on Amazon. So this isn't gonna work because the pens suck. It's not me, it's the pens. I'm gonna be getting a new pen and I'm gonna come back and try this again. The problem here is, how in God's name do I put the ink in? Oh my God. Much better. 
This is a real pen. This is what they should have written the Constitution with. So basically when it comes to calligraphy and using these kinds of pens, it's all about the pressure. You need to apply even pressure across your strokes. More pressure, you get different kinds of strokes. Less pressure, you get different kinds of strokes. Time to put some pressure on me. Put some pressure on this paper. Just kidding, we're just gonna put pressure on the pen. Equipment matters, because as you can see, I was right, and it was the pen's fault. Because look at how awesome it looks when you actually use a good pen. The tip is so good, you can use it as a ruler. Look at how straight those lines are. This is a great pen. I just did a thing. I learned calligraphy. I learned calligraphy. It was literally my first attempt at the old English alphabet. I saw this, you know, out, out hit on it. I'm a handwriting god at this point. It's like level 5,000. Boys, we're now on level four, which is hardcore heavy metal. And for this level, we're gonna do something real different. Something real exciting, mind blowing. Brush pens, hardcore heavy metal. What in God's name did I just draw? What is... Okay, this doesn't look like a G. This looks like a virus. It's not a G. That's... That's a sperm. I decided to make a drastic and dramatic decision. I switched to the fountain pen. Oh, that's much better. This was one of the most challenging alphabets I've ever written. But honestly, I've gotten so good at writing alphabets that I'm picking this one up pretty quickly. I just did it. I actually just did it. I did another thing. I just did it. I did it. I did it. Look, look, look. It's a phrase. It's a phrase. And I wrote the phrase. I'm ready for the final level, boys. To face the final boss of calligraphy. I knew I had to go all out for this final level. And the only way I could do that was to get an easel. But not just any easel. No, I went all out for this one, boys. That easel was the biggest mistake I ever made in my life. Now we're at the final level, guys. Level five calligraphy. Did I know there were levels to calligraphy or writing before? No, but there are. Fancy calligraphy is how people who hold their glasses like this, right? The easel and the paper were just really not a good time. One of the challenges that I did not think of that's really clapping me in the cheeks right now is that writing in a notebook is a lot different than writing on an easel, which is like five times the size. And I thought that everything would start to go smoothly once I had the easel actually being an easel, but no, the D is terrible. I couldn't even get the first letter of my own name. So I kept practicing the D and practicing the D. I'm ready to go for it now. <sighs> And then I finally got it. The most beautiful D I'd ever seen. The perfect D. But then I spelled my name wrong. <laughs> I actually... I actually... <laughs> This was actually, this took me like 15 minutes to do. And it, look at how good that is. Look at how good that actually is. It was hard learning that I couldn't write legibly and it took us a really long time to get to this point. We went from chicken scratch hieroglyphics to cursive to all the levels of calligraphy and we made it. Thank you guys so much for watching this and sticking with me through this. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Danny Dude or Danny Dog. <laughs>